There is where the water flows down from the big spring. We are definitely in the forest. And the boys like to stay in the tents at night. It's actually really a nice cool place to sleep next to the water. This is the driveway. Let's show them the way, Summit. It's pretty warm out here today. Yesterday, the front yard was 122, but we all managed to stay cool enough. Swimming in the creek and the chickens digging in the mud. So this is what we call the 2 by 4 house because it was built entirely out of 2 by 4s originally when they were 8 cents each. It's been added on to. Here's where we have the chicken coop. Oh, stepped in a hole. Parked for now. Back here behind the clothesline is a hot tub and pond area that would be pretty nice to get up and running again. I love these giant rocks that come out of the ground around here. Here's, we have some English ivy that likes to grow around and climb some of these giant trees. Some old rose bushes that we want to get glow going again. Pile of rugs that we pulled down from upstairs. Here's where we're, how we're doing a lot of our cooking right now. We do have lots of wonderful, fresh, cold water flowing down from the spring. It's just not flowing into the house quite yet, but we will get that going soon, hopefully. This is just filling up the basin for the bathroom. So this is my view in the morning where I sit and drink my coffee and read. It's a very nice place to start the day. Let's show them inside, Summit. We got everything we need in here for now. Not using the wood stove yet at all, of course. This is the restroom. There was carpet in there, so pulling that up is one of the first things we did. And this is this bedroom we're using mostly for storage right now. Some more storage. There's the kitchen. Mostly unpacked, but not quite everything. They built these cabinets and made handles out of old silverware. It's pretty unique. We will probably open this wall up. And we're working on getting the propane up and running for that, but the fridge does work, thankfully. We also have some old wood-fired stoves that might get working. And there's a greenhouse back here. Also being used as a tool shop. Back here is where... The chickens are hanging out to stay cool, aren't you? Are you staying cool under the house? Oh, hi. Everybody doing all right down there? This is what's behind the house, so we'll be clearing this up some more. This tree fell a while ago. An old shed that's trying to fall down. 
You guys like it here with lots of lots to forage and eat? Yeah, you're living off the land too, huh? They don't really pay much attention to this crumble most of the time. Summit, should we show them upstairs? Let's show you upstairs. It's very unique because, like I said, the whole place was built by out of two by fours. You can see. We have a couple of bats we're still working on getting rid of that live up here, so that's why we're not using it. As you probably know, bats are not very sanitary. So we go up a little spiral staircase into the upstairs rooms. I think it looks like a musical instrument up here. These stained glass windows are one of my favorite features. There used to be a deck, so there's still a sliding glass door here with a pretty nice view. And across the way is another room with some more rugs to take downstairs and clean up. An old desk. You can see it's just round. The whole thing built entirely out of two by fours. And another cute stained glass window.